Yeah, I had to tell the dermatologist, like, is anything, you have any idea where this is from? I was like, I got Keef on my eyes. <laughs> and she was like, all right. <laughs> I was in a cloud of Keef. What an angel. Yeah, dude, what did she, she didn't even bat an eye, dude. She goes, eh, it happens. happens. You never know. Everybody gets Keef in there. Everyone eye. gets fucking yeah. in a cloud of Keef in the Dude, eyes. what is, do you see Trump's calling people who's I- illegal immigrants kill your son or daughter, they call you a fucking angel mom? Wait, what? <laughs> he calls them angel These parents. Angel parents? What? Yeah, pretty well, great. Illegal immigrants who kill? Yeah, if an illegal kills somebody in your family, you become an angel whatever. He keeps calling them angel moms. Oh my God. It's hilarious. <laughs> so was that even saying illegal? that in the speech the other day? He's calling them angel moms. Jesus Christ. He's like, what is these angel moms? <laughs> so if a Mexican murders your you son, instantly become you an angel. transcend into a fucking deity. You're an angel mom. Just into a demigod? You're a mom of an angel. God. Damn, dude. Which is funny because chances are that's the name of the guy who killed him. And hell. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> so what? But only, that's only a distinction's made for, like, if an immigrant Only if an immigrant. You. If your fucking kid gets murdered, you're just a fucking mom. You're just a mom. Yeah. Unless an immigrant did it. And then angel you're mom. An angel mom. Dude. Damn, Trump's dude. Trump's got all the sickest Branding nicknames. Branding genius. Dude, Trump's is, got the sickest the nicknames. The most fucked up part is thinking about those ladies, like, hearing their angel moms and being like, okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm an angel mom. That's You're fun. an angel mom. I need you to stand behind me when I say build the wall. How many you know, kids just you someone murdered? said to me, like, these women, they're angels, you know? And then he was just like, they're angel moms. He just put it right together. You got to admit, his, brand, his names are fucking sick, he's dude. He's just He's so a good nicknamer. I'll give him that. He is. Lion O'Connie, dude. He's, he would <laughs> lock you up, dude. Oh, dude. He would. He would definitely lock me up. He's fucking, fucking angel warm. mom, dude. Yeah. Angel moms are the shit. I hope a fucking When did they start? Uh, I think the first time I heard it was the State of the Union address. But he's probably got it. He's got it in the back pocket. He's probably been tossing it out when he's running his hour. Yeah, across the country, he's probably been tossing it out. It's working. That's a uh, that's a sick thing to run off. Just be like, yo, there's Mexicans coming and they're fucking raping and killing us. And then there's the other people being like, immigrants are the most wholesome people. Like, I know they're just fucking people. Of course, that's the they, left. Some saying. of them are raping yeah. and murdering, yeah. just like every other group of people. But they're like, no, yeah. we we need more. No, we need to keep them out. It's yeah. like. They're just fucking lads, bro. Just lads. Some, lad, of, work. Dude, some of them go lad, rogue. Dude. Lads, some of them lad. go rogue. And fucking lads going lad. Yeah. I, so you think lads? Yeah, lads going lad. So you're against the wall. I love the wall. How dare you? I'm you you're gonna put a wall around lads. No, lad. I'm in the fence. Dude, you think that's gonna? That's only gonna give us the best lads. If we build this wall, dude, only the finest we already lads. Are, we only get elite lads. We get sick lads, True. no matter yeah. what. They went through the gauntlet, but True. if we build a wall at the end. Now I've always said we got to go American Ninja Warrior. Exactly. Course. That's what already All exists. The, is it really? Yeah. You just have a dude with a fucking just tennis ball going like. There's a desert. There's a desert. There's a, there's a desert. There's a river. There's like people that want to kill them. Everyone's yeah. raping. Yeah. You got to dodge all the rapes. True. You know, there's there's like there's people that just live down there that like think they're part of the force that stopped. You ever watch like Border Wars? That like yeah, reality show? Is wild. there dudes that just conscript themselves? Yeah, like, there's, there's just people that just sit there's in their backyard. Like, militia. You know, they got like a big property along the border. They just sit in their backyard and like watch for. And they just to come catch over. them. Yeah. Catch and release. Nets, dude. Dude, it's crazy. Yeah. Catch the lads out there in the nets. <laughs> dude. Go out and check the traps at there night. Was like, there was like a dude. There's a lad. Dude, they're the they're like in their house and they're like. Shh. Some lads outside. Yeah, there's lads dude, scurrying, there's dude. Damn. It's like they're like raccoons, though. Like where if you, all, all the trap you need is like a hole, and then you put <laughs> something Jesus in it that the Christ. lads would like. You put like a cool fucking affliction T-shirt in, <laughs> and they won't let it go, and then they're just stuck there. <laughs> Holy fuck! <laughs> the lads put some, at like, night, cowboy boots. Yeah, down. they're just sitting there. They'll, you'll see them. They get stuck like by a tree, just holding it, holding damn. some sick boots. <laughs> yeah, you see that a lot on Border Wars. <laughs> <You're> Watch <watching. laughs> it. Oh, I gotta Jesus go down there Christ. and leave the lads, dude. You're gonna free them. You're gonna I need, be a we need more lads, dude. I love it. You no, there was there was there was, oh, a, yeah. there was like one thing on Border Wars where they, like they were they had this couple who like lives on the border and just like caught this guy and they were asking him about his what life. They do with him? What? They just turn him over to like ICE or whatever. Damn. But it, he, they were asking him like how he got here and he was like he was from like Malaysia or something like that. He had, like sold a kidney to get on a tanker to just get to <laughs> South America. Damn. <laughs> yeah, Whoa. and then he like hiked up from South America and he was like he was like swimming across Damn. the river and saw two fat people with just like drinking Budweiser. <laughs> so just like, like got one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Nope. <laughs> totally <laughs> fucked this dude over. Oh my god. Yeah, but who knows what he would have done. If we would have let him in, <laughs> yeah, yeah, you could have another angel mom, dude. Yeah. Mr. and Mrs. O'Connie could be angel parents. <laughs> Little Chris, no that way. was the guy who was coming to do yeah. you specifically. Yeah, you, yeah, yeah. He, he sold a kidney to fuck you up. <laughs> 
His black dude picked us up and was tossing nuts. out some sick yeah. stats. What was he doing? Because it's a college town. Poughkeepsie yeah. has Marist. Is that it? Or Bryant yeah, or some yeah, shit? Yeah, Marist. Marist and Vassar. And he was, he was like, like, I pick up these drunk-ass college girls with their fucking... This, you should have seen this girl the other night with her skirt up the whole way. She had like legs a legs like a... like a. He got yeah, stuck. Like an athlete. <laughs> he was like an athlete. <laughs> Strong legs. He was like, And she was like, she blacked out. And she's like, she knows what she's doing. I can put my hand right up her ass. It was like, what? Yeah, <laughs> he was like, yeah, yeah. He's like, I don't do it. Exactly. Yeah. I could. I picked I these could. college girls yeah. up all the yeah. time. I, I was in the back. Like, are we yeah. got? Are we in trouble? <laughs> are we gonna get raped? What's it called when an Uber driver eats your daughter's pussy? <laughs> Uber Jeez. eats, dude. <laughs> it's angel dad, dude. Yeah, he's an angel dad. <laughs> blacked out oh daughter my. gets her pussy eaten by an oh Uber my driver. God. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit! You're instantly an angel daddy. <laughs> angel daddy. <laughs> <laughs> Angel mommies and angel daddies. Dude. Angel daddies, dude. That's when the driver stuck his hand up my daughter's ass. <laughs> <laughs> he said he wanted. <laughs> it was supposed to be a pool. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody else got in the car. <sighs> He Trump stopped, needs to start he stopped attacking accepting rides. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, if Trump brought up some victims of angel daddies, some angel daddies <laughs> on stage. It was like in, in the chilling case. <laughs> Christopher O'Connor <laughs> was raped. He's got a hand up the ass. He's got, got a hand, hand up the ass. Yeah, black down. Got I also love the phrase hand up the ass as opposed to like fisting. Just, <laughs> just <laughs> hand up the ass. Like, how, how loose do you think assholes are? You just, yeah, you're just going <laughs> to stick a hand up the passenger's <laughs> asshole. <laughs> Like, yeah, where are you at it? <laughs> <laughs> Knew I could do that. Yeah. Yeah. No, I get away with it. Yeah. That is weird though, how you can't you can't even talk about it. If you were like, we need to tighten our borders, it's racist. It's yeah. like dude, it's it's good. It's like no, just make them come over legal. Well, now what we, also... we should do is streamline how hard it how easy it is to do it legally. I think that's the big issue. Yeah. It's because it takes forever to do it legally. So it's like a five year fucking wait and you're from Guatemala, dude. You're just trying to lad out. You're just yeah. trying to go buy a fucking pair of cowboy boots, I mean, some Jinkos. It's one of those things where I'm like, I don't give a fuck because it doesn't that right now affect me at all. No, of course. But like, if I was like, everyone I know in my town was out of a job, I'd be like, all right, man, this is fucking bullshit. Yeah, true. If you're some bitch boy like fucking Dairy Queen, who's probably yeah. some fucking office turd, and yeah, they're coming for you too, man. Yeah, dude. Wait well, till the lads. Automate. Yeah, once those lads learn how to build robots and Yo, shit, give them that. When, when they get their hands on the fucking Excel spreadsheet, dude. Yep. Good luck. Yep. Be once fucking, they fucking figure out the Excel sheet, we'll be having done. those fucking stubby. You'll, all you hear is stubby fingers, like <laughs> little fucking, fucking burrito fingers, dude, <laughs> plowing away at the Excel, doing combos you never even thought of. Dude. That is funny though, because I never really gave a fuck about immigration, but I also it's like, it's like, well, fucking, we shouldn't even have the borders. It's like, all right, well, unlock your door, take your door off the hinge, and it's yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, there's that argument. I don't. I don't believe in that. Like when people are like, we should let Syrians in. It's like, all right, we'll fucking let them into your house. It's like, well, no, obviously, fuck that. But when you're sitting here saying open borders or whatever, or like criticizing someone who's like, well, maybe they should come into the country legally. Yeah. It's like, what's what's wrong with saying that? There's nothing wrong with saying that. It doesn't make you racist. There's people who will say though, like, I don't even think we should have like a border. Well, yeah. There's people that'll. It's like, yeah. all right, unlock a door. Yeah. True. Like you need borders. You mm-hmm. have your houses walled off. Why? Because you don't want some fucking dude to roll in there. Yeah. You don't want a lad that you coming don't in. Know. Yeah, you don't want you don't a lad. Want a, lad that you don't know. a bad lad, dude. You I'll gotta be... watch out for the bad <laughs> lad. The most of them are very good, but you gotta watch out for the bad lads. Well, the bad oh, ones are bad very ones bad. That's very, the thing. Very bad, dude. They they'll get a snake you. tattoo. <laughs> they get a snake tattoo, and they come over here and they stab and yep. rape. And Next thing just, you know, you're getting beheaded. It's one out of a hundred. But one that, out of a hundred? That one hundredth, that one, hundredth one is a malacito, dude. Yeah, he's a fucking bad hombre, dude. Dude, he's a bad hombre. He'll fucking cut your dick off. <laughs> yeah. He'll put your head on a turtle, dude, and send it across the board. <laughs> <laughs> right on top of a tortuga, you fucking bitch, Dairy Queen. That is a funny element of the cartels about, like, if you really went over there, just a bunch of, like, five, four dudes over there. Like, yeah, no, we must fucking, take Yeah, them. you ever see a picture of El Chapo? It's <laughs> no. like, what a fucking chubby little bitch, dude. He just looks like a drywall he for his, he, He's a fucking, he looks like Mario, dude. That's why he keeps escaping out of the pipes in prisons, dude. That's how he gets down the pipe. It just goes, quick, quick, quick. He fucking, he just, <laughs> next, he's crawling underneath the tunnels like, doo-doo, doo-doo, doo-doo. <laughs> he just jumps down the toilet. Do, 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 do. <laughs> oh my god! There has to. I mean, that joke has to have been made. That was no fucking, way. That dude. was a layup, dude. That was a fucking. Hey, once slam you see El Chapo and you realize how much he looks like Mario, you'll be like, oh yeah, dude. I've never heard that before, and we're on the cutting edge of fucking humor. We are actually on the forefront of it, but 
God damn it, What did you see, El Chapo? I guess it's funny. There's a lot of Mexican restaurants called El Chapo. <laughs> of course, dude. Why wouldn't you? That's like Italians do that. They'll be like Godfather's Pizza. And oh, like yeah, good yeah, fellas, yeah. And it's like every yeah, Italian. Yeah, Goodfellas Pizza. It's yeah. like you're a fucking dork from New Jersey. <laughs> <laughs> fucking El Chapo, dude. Oh, my God. <laughs> he looks like Super Mario, dude. He looks like almost like James Gandolfini. <laughs> In that picture, he does. Yeah. He looks like James Gandolfini mixed with uh, Johnny Depp's friend from Blow from Cuba or Columbia. You got to see old ones. You got to see old or newer pictures of him to think that. But damn, dude, that's sick. Here he is with gay ass Sean Penn. <laughs> Holy fuck! Sean dude. Penn like went and did an interview with him or something. Yeah, he looks like he's like owns a car wash. Yeah, he does. Except he's out there fucking cutting people's oh, heads fucking, and dicks he'll off. He'll destroy me, dude. Yeah. He'll fucking Fuck. he'll El Chapo flip that would, little lift, dude. He'd put my fucking big head on jump it. on your head. He might need two Tortugas to fucking get my yep. big head on there, dude. He'll jump on your head and you'll be dead. <laughs> he'll squash me. He'll, you'll have to go back in your shell. I could use him for knocking down those fucking towers, dude. Having him fucking yeah. break those break bricks Break those up. bricks. Yeah, dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the lads are wild. It's funny now that we're, now that we're talking immigration. Yeah. Finally. Yeah. Let's get down to brass time. tacks let's get, let's on this. Dude. No, I was listening to that thing on, uh, there's this podcast called Caliphate. Uh-huh. Oh yeah, I said it last week. It's from the failing New York Times, but uh, I, I didn't know. Yeah, what is it? It's just this lady interviewing this dude who joined ISIS. He's this oh, yeah, Pakistani yeah. kid from Canada. Joined ISIS, killed some people. Yeah, what? it's pretty fucked up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like executed some some people. What's he doing back? In, is he in jail he now? Snuck back in. He's just living a normal life. I think he was anonymous in the thing. Holy shit, dude. Yeah, he, he found out it wasn't for him after the second person he executed. He was like an ISIS sophomore? Yeah, he was, yeah, his second year Holy ISIS. Holy shit, dude. But one thing, now that we're talking immigration, that made, that was funny, was like, they were like, yeah, just go to France. They were, they, they started plotting where they were going to attack Holy outside fuck. of the caliphate. Yeah. And uh, they were like, yeah, France, they're like, they're just fucking handing out immigration papers. Like, we can just get in. No problem. And that's the tough thing because it's like you want to. There's all those Syrians that are the obviously 99, probably 99 percent of these. That's a wild figure. I'm yeah, yeah. Out. But you know what I mean. The majority of these people are just innocent people trapped yeah. in a fucking war zone, and it's like the right thing to do is to get them out. Yeah. But then you run the risk of like if you're gonna let thousands and thousands in at once. Yeah. There's going to be, like, three dudes that suck sneaking in. A couple sleeper cells. A couple, like, it, all it takes is, like, five fucking morons. And I, wonder how, Paris. I wonder how many of them fucking get here and they're like, damn, this is fucking sweet. And it's I mean, fall that'd, be, that'd be pretty quick. They're like, oh, I've, I've been on my bullshit, dude. Yeah, dude, my bad. What the <laughs> fuck? I beheaded a guy. You guys have hooters? Yeah. Uh, yeah, exactly. And then just they're like, tray of wings so what do I do for work? It's like, oh, there's an app. You can just drive people around and make, like, 200 bucks a day. And they're like. Uh, Who do I have to execute? Like nobody. <laughs> you don't have to saw anybody's heads off. Like no, you just drive around. It's pretty and sick. You can tell them about Islam. Yeah, <laughs> you can talk to them. You're gonna get some negative reviews. <laughs> but you can give them a good speech. Yeah, she's wow. So I started drinking. What the fuck's this shit called? It's not Robitussin. Delsum, similar to Robitussin, but it has DXM, the Dextro Morphin, yeah, or whatever the fuck. Shit, that you shit want is. those wild dreams? I mean, that's glue. Glufus, whatever the hell it's called, that's a Musinex. I went, I stepped up to robo tripping, so I was robo tripping the last two nights. Last night I drank a, a bunch of it the one night, passed the fuck out. Second night I drank it, my tolerance spiked. I must be a fucking DM, a DMXM or DXM yeah. head. Drank double, wasn't really putting me down. So then I I got into a fucking YouTube hole of that guy. Who's the fucking? Is it Robbie? Robbie something? The guy who got arrested for filming, like Muslims going into prison. Oh, I don't know. They're like Tommy Robinson. He was the guy who would drive around England and yeah, show and show his old neighborhoods and be yeah. like, "Look at this, mate. Look at and see what oh, he's yeah. see what he's collecting for. See what oh he's filming. We oh we we're, he's like saying they're like collecting for ISIS and shit. I think he's the one who was driving through a neighborhood and a bunch of muzzies yeah. were like approached his car and were like, "Get the fuck out of here." Yeah, he started the English Defense League. Yeah, which and that's then, a little. Well, you know what happened? Well, apparently, what happened was I read an article about it. Um, I mean, this dude is not like Muslims, dude. You you can split that any way you want. Yeah. But he got a bunch of Nazis and shit joining that. He was like, dude, fuck, come on, guys. He he he, he didn't want people that were like super duper racist. He just wanted dudes. He that just wanted say slight racists. Well, he wanted like only racists against Muzzies. He just, I mean, it's the thing I was watching when it was like the Italian lady got like dragged down the street by these like three Somalian dudes. 
Yeah. Tommy Robinson's like, fuck it, I'm going there. And this was, they, as soon as they came at his camera, he's like, fuck you. And dude's like, keep your life. And he's like, what are you going to You can't kill me, blah, blah, blah. And they start talking. And he tur- Tommy Robinson turns around. The guy makes like a knife stab emotion behind his back. Like, I'll kill you. And he, dude, this dude, Tommy Robinson, turns around, hooks this dude. Really? Knocked him the fuck out. He knocked out a Somali? Fucking crack. The video cuts out, but it's like solid oh. like, jaw moving connect. He fucking decked this guy. Wow. But it's like, did he go down there looking for a fight or what? Because he was like, because they were like, it's a no-go zone. And he's all about like, dude, fuck this. I'm not, there's no no-go zones. Like, yeah. I'm not going to have a no-go he zone in my country. He doesn't believe in borders. Yeah, he's, who, Tommy Robinson? Yeah, he believes in super borders. <laughs> Except in his own country. Yeah. Well, he, he was like, dude, it's, I'm not, it's like, he's like, I grew up here. And now it's, they're telling me like, I can't go around here. He's like, fuck that. Oh, no-go zones. Like that, was with... one in, that was one in Italy being like, they were saying like women reporters can't go there. Yeah, because they called the it a no-go zone. Get, yeah. But it was, he was like, dude, fuck this. This is Europe. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go down there right now and fuck someone up and that's exactly what he did. So you're a fan? I'm. Not, I don't know. I was just intrigued by the guy. He's definitely. It is intriguing. He's a little much. He's driving around. It's like when he's driving around that one video. Just like he's just looking at Muslim he's like, people. Look at him. There they. Fucking he's like, are. look at that. You know what that story used to be? You know this story? It was just like that shit. Yeah. But it's like, he's an. It's an interesting dude to follow. It's pretty wild. Yeah, I understand. I. I mean, I've watched it. Yeah, I've seen some of the shit. But then when you get into like the defense league and like they got wild. He le- he left the defense weird league. Stuff. He left the defense league. He yeah, headbutted a Nazi. Tommy really? Robinson headbutted a Nazi, yeah. He didn't want to. He said, get out. You're making my group look bad. Whap. He's, he's locked up right now. What do you think of that? Headbutting him. It might have been for the press, dude. I don't know. I don't know anything anymore. <laughs> I really don't. I can't, I can't believe anything. I really yeah, know. I don't know anything. He, I mean, he definitely punched that dude in the face. That was a wild video. So he knocked out a Somali leaving court. No, no, no. The guy who was uh, where that girl got pulled off, who got like the Italian oh, reporter got dragged down guy? the street. It's a random dude there. This lady was filming homeless people. And the guy was like, get the camera out of here. And she's like, no, no, And they fucking snatch her up. Tommy Robinson fucking flew down there. I was like, fuck you guys. I've had enough. He's had enough, dude. Enough is enough. Him and his boys are so funny. Like, look, look, look. What do you think they're collecting for? What, what are you collecting for, mate? All right. Dude, it's so funny. <laughs> it's just some Muslim dude that's like, I had nothing, man. He's like, oh, the orphans. He's like, we definitely just fucking supported ISIS. They pull off. Like, we definitely just supported ISIS. Real but shit. he's he's after the grooming gangs and like the amounts of rapes and stuff and it's like I have said that before, man. That's like you're coming from Somalia, dude, and they hit you in England. Bad boys in Somalia, you can pull off some rapes out there. And then all of a sudden you get to this new place where you're like, no, 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 you can't do that at all. Yeah, you know, some bugs are gonna hit the windshield, dude. People are gonna be like, eh, I think I, I think I know about raping. I think I can do this here. It'll be cool. I'm just saying, dude. That's that's like the Lay the land down there. Somalia is fucked up. Somalia is pretty fucked up. So I guess he's, he's uh, you know, what I don't know. I'm not going to talk about this. Yeah. But yeah, that's fucked up, dude. I mean, it's one thing where, like, the dude's an asshole. What he's doing, you watch videos, like, yeah, I can see why people hate this guy. Then it's like, you hear about the people getting raped a lot. And it's like, if this is true, well, hey, man. You got to figure, the Somalis down there, probably, there's probably not a lot of, like, women's shampoo and, like, lotions. And then they get up to England and there's lotion everywhere. They basically them off. they have girl roommates oh. for the first time. They're coming in there shining that flashlight. I mean, if you're sleeping outside and someone's like tapping Mac next to you, that's your roommate. Yeah. So they wake up and they're just like, huh? Yeah. I mean, hopefully it's not that. Hopefully it's not the case. Hopefully what is not the case? That, that someone's waking up and just grabbing people under their fucking... You think a Somali pirate's getting the flashlight out <laughs> and just be like, I'm the captain of this bedroom. <laughs> I hope not. Yeah. Let's take a break. I gotta yeah. blow my nose. <laughs> We back. All right. So Matt, Matt blew his nose. We're feeling stronger, dude. I wonder if people We're think we do stronger. coke down here. Some boys like, oh, I got to go blow my nose. I can, I'd imagine people see how fucking lethargic we are. True that. And know that they can look at me and be like, that guy's definitely not doing coke. That's one thing. If, you see, me, if you see me eating in public, yeah, if you see me eating in public, they're like, oh, that guy's not a cokehead. But um, so this past Thursday, mm-hmm. I did Miguel Dalmo's American Immigrant Podcast. Oh, yeah. That was interesting. Live, Tell me about that. And it was a panel. Yeah. So it was like me, this Indian chick, I forget her name. She's a comic here. This Mexican lady who was like a activist that was like, she's like an immigration activist. How old was she? I don't know. Probably mid 30s. Okay. So she wasn't as old as a lady from like Rajneesh Paj or whatever? No. Remember that guy's bill from that show? No. What? The Netflix show? The... Oh yes. Yeah, I no. thought I thought you were picturing her. No, um, and She's then thirty-year-old Mexican activist. Yeah, and then Dorian Vasquez. 
And Miguel how did he do? What, what was old Dorian talking about? He was. He did fine. Yeah, he's hilarious. Yeah, but uh, then, <laughs> then uh, so in the green room before the show, we're just sitting there talking, and the Mexican lady was shitting on Pennsylvania's treatment of immigrants, illegal immigrants. Okay, that come to when they get to America, ICE puts them basically in like facilities. Mm-hmm. So it's like they're not in jail, but if they leave, they'll get arrested. Because they're illegal okay. immigrants. Yeah, yeah. And it, I was like, ah, oh, I used to work for DHS, the yeah. Department of in Pennsylvania. Mm-hmm. And she was like, oh, so you know all about it. Like, she fucking hated Why'd that. Why'd she hate DHS workers? Because uh, the conditions she hates. She's like, it's... What's it, DHS have to do with ICE? So, there's like county prisons, basically, or like county... They're not technically prisons, Do they split but, the family up from age group, or they let them all children? Well, so then DHS... Looks at these facilities, gives a contract to the facilities if they're up to par. Because any child facility in the state, DHS operates. Yeah. But then ICE and federal funding also Such go to it. Such a sick acronym, too. ICE? Yeah, it's yeah, just it, ICE. It, it, oh, that's the last ICE. acronym I went after me. ICE. Yeah. But uh, she just hated D- DHS is involved. They're issuing the contracts to these places, these facilities. Yeah, like Berks County. Are, Berks yeah. County is the one. Did you ever go see some of the conditions they might be in? Like you're a DHS worker, your job yeah, is to did. make sure I, kids. My don't job was to go conditions. to condition or to go check conditions yeah. to make sure they're okay, make sure they have like appropriate, you know, like yeah. fire alarms. There's no space heaters. Yeah, there's dude. fucking no bed bugs. Check but everything. She's out. like, they should just totally be like, no. Nah, well, totally and then she finally admitted. Well, she's anti borders okay. globally. Okay. She doesn't believe in nations' borders. She okay. believes it's a human right to migrate. Seamlessly, okay. Which so I mean that kind of I was like, I was on that when I was twenty one. Yeah, and I used to do a ton of mushrooms, and I thought I lived in an undisturbed ecosystem in my house. I was like, yeah, yeah that's a fucking sick idea. Yeah, well, it doesn't really work that way. But uh, so then I was like, yeah, my sister was the comm director for DHS. Like my sister was like high up in yeah. that whole thing. So I started texting my sister, and I was like, what? Well, give me something to respond to this because this lady's yeah. There's got to be a reason that it can't be evil. Like, they can't be locking up immigrants and being, like, treating them horribly. And, like, Mm-mm. it's like these are illegal immigrants that they're waiting for asylum and they're giving they're giving them, like, a bed and... Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they're waiting for asylum. It's like, the, it's like what uh, Ayan Hershey Ali had to live in for so, a while. So it's, it was supposed to be a children's facility, mm-hmm. but then they just started letting random fucking adults live in the same facility as these kids. So then DHS got rid... They did, did not extend the contract with them. Okay. They're like, you're failing. You can't have fucking random people in there. Anyway, so there, there was a long thing about that. But mm-hmm. this lady starts talking about, like, colonizers and white devils in the green room. And I'm just sitting there like, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Dude, I mean. And she might have been joking. But still, it's, even joking, it's like, you, you're, you're basically a human rights activist, but you're going to sit here and use racial slurs. Yeah. And it's like, I mean, I'm not offended. Don't worry. Yeah, exactly. But... Why don't you what chill a, with I mean, that that's the lamest slur, too. It's like, well, your ancestors 400 years ago dominated territories through military combat. And it's like, yeah, okay. She's like, what conditions brought these immigrants to America? It's like America destroying the entire hemisphere. It's like, all right, see you later, lady. Yeah. But, uh, well, it's, it's, the, it's like the capital now. I always had it's like the major, there's like a city that just grows and gets so big that people are like, oh, fuck, let me go over there. That's just, I mean, that's, you know, I think people weren't sneaking into Rome and shit. It's the same thing. The, uh, then the Indian chick in the green room's like, I'm just glad my people never oppressed anybody. From India, she was saying. India. And I was like, wait, 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 what? Yeah. Your, India was an empire. Yeah. For, I mean, obviously they got buttfucked by England for a while, but it's like, Did what, it? what do you think? And then, so I was like, what about Pakistan? And she was like, well, that was pretty much Pakistan attacking India. I was like, I think you guys had some massacres in there too. What about Nepal? Didn't doesn't India like didn't they buff fuck Nepal a couple of times? Probably, it's on their. Border. But that's what I was telling you. Their whole their their like main religion for for almost ever was uh, it was set up in a caste system, to where yeah. like it was just like the high. Well, level Well, that was caste. brought up immediately too. It's like, well, yeah, you guys also had caste systems. Yeah, and I mean that's li- yeah. They would throw women in funeral pyres with their husbands after they died. Yeah, it's like how long ago was that? They were doing that recently. I mean, in pockets, not well, like was, yeah. 
accepted, Good but it's still yeah, like it was still happening. Yeah, and then shit. But she's like, no, I just mean like colonizing. Like we never oppressed anybody else. And it's like, yeah, you you fucking did. Yeah, you fully definitely. Did. You didn't become a huge superpower like that. That's <laughs> dude. I mean, anyway. But it was it was such a funny like thought process to yeah. be like, I'm just so glad my my culture never, you know, oppressed anyone else. It's like, yeah, if that's how if that's what you're into, like using fucking I'm like, history. I'm Irish. Exactly. That's the thing no one wants to hear about. And I was like, we we didn't really set the world on fire either. Yeah. I'm sure. That, I'm sure there was some fucked up shit the Irish people have done throughout history. But it's yeah, like, but I mean, I don't, I don't think the Irish military like took over Croatia. Yeah, but whatever, <laughs> whatever, whatever. Um, That's hilarious. Yes. You guys all saw it and you guys sat and talked the issues. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was That's pretty sick. funny. That's tight. At one point, though, the lady hit me with like a hard. She had a good. I mean, she she studies this. What, this what, is what, what, her what was the question? Right? I forget what it was. Oh, I said something about. Uh, Irish or something like that, oppression type shit. I, and I understood I was coming from, I knew mm-hmm. what was going to happen. But yeah. this this dude in the front row that was like Indian, I think, or like mm-hmm. he was brown skin. Yeah. He was like, ugh. And I was like, see, that's a weird thing to yeah. be like, your oppression's not as bad as mine. Yeah, exactly. And then the, the Mexican activist had a good answer. I forget what it was, but. She said it just, it just. She was like, you're, you're white and something like that and got a good, good response. I was like, well, you should do stand up. You'd be doing late night with that material. That's pretty uh, that's good. Hilarious. <laughs> yeah, that, I you're mean, getting a lot of claps. You should do stand up. Yeah, but uh, it's all no, cultural, it man. They tell, I mean, they tell a lot of cultures, but even Irish, it's like you don't like. If I ever complained when I was little, my mom would be like, offered up to Jesus, and I'm like, fuck, <laughs> god damn it. It's not like, yeah, sit around and fucking cry. No, I sit around and cry. Um, True that. <laughs> I sit around. And Me cry all poor the time. heart weeps. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but uh. I, I we had to submit articles and shit. And the article, I, one article, one of the stats in it that was pretty interesting mm-hmm. was uh, the average Irish man in 1850 ate 14 pounds of potatoes a day. What? Yeah, I think I think. Let me. I gotta double check he that. Ate 14 pounds. Yeah, and the, because they were just and subsisting the woman was on like just 11. So they were just they were just the eating potatoes. The only potatoes? thing they could eat was potatoes, basically. Holy shit! Because all the food the English Sounds confiscated. Fucking awesome. Yeah, I heard about that. They took yeah. all their shit. So what like was the deal with that? What was the potato famine? The English just went. Was it one of those things where they made them farm and then took all their food? Yeah, they would. They, I mean, Ireland still had fucking livestock and grain and mm-hmm. other forms of food, but the English would collect all that. It's like you owe us that. That's ours. They would yeah. take it and store it, <coughs> like a samurai system with the rice. They used to so the then, thing. when the blight happened and all the potato crops failed, that was all the food they had. So millions of people died. Because of these food practices? Yeah. Shit. Because of our oppression, bro. Oh, my Didn't God. Didn't you know dude. how oppressed we were? Uh, now I do. Cool. Fucking pissed, They dude. even used the same ships, the slave ships, mm-hmm. to bring Irish to America. Did they really? Former slave ships. I heard on the slave ships, it was like... It was fun. Well, no, it was, <laughs> it was not fun. But I heard the... Uh, and again, this, maybe this is wrong, but I heard that it was like equal Europeans to Africans dying on the way over. Like dudes on those crews are getting statistically. Yeah. But there were a lot more Africans on the boat. Okay. Significant number more Africans were on dying. those ships. Gotcha. Gotcha. Maybe it was percentage wise. They weren't rolling that deep. No. I mean, okay. dude, they were packing people in. That's like, true. Side, were, like yeah. me and bees are in the hotel room. That's true. They were getting, Just, that's true. Dude, think of the snore well, that's on those ships. That's why when people are like, you know, again, this is, this is just from my research, but when they say that, like, white people, like, went into, like, the interiors of Africa and, like, were stealing slaves Uh-oh, and shit. I know where this is going. It was the invention of quinine, dude. The people, they couldn't do that until quinine happened, until people got quinine. So it was, like, they're saying basically, like, well, you know, there's networks, dude, set up that would meet people on the shores and sell people. It wasn't like Christopher Columbus hacking his way through the African wilderness. Yeah. Being like, oh, let's get him, come on. So what was happened? Good, it, was, it was just Africans selling Africans, dude. What? To Europeans. What did you just say? I mean, it's... That's that's how, according to that's according to this one guy. It's according to Thomas Sowell, dude. Black guy. How safe. dare you? It's according to Thomas Sowell, black guy safe. True, you got your force field up. <laughs> um, but he said, like before the invention of quinine, guys couldn't even really even get off the boats over there without getting sick. Just saying, dude. Follow the breadcrumbs. I'm. I'm I mean. I'm, Just-